there, this is Shana Albert from ArtistHelpingChildren.org and I have a great Halloween craft for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to make an opening and closing Halloween skull. It starts like this and actually opens up. It's pretty creepy. It'll be perfect for hanging up on Halloween, plus the kids love to make it, even the young ones. So grab the materials needed and let's get started. For the materials needed, you will need a piece of cardstock, a pair of scissors, two paper fasteners, and you will also need a computer and printer as we will be printing off this template here. Um, you can find the link for that on this YouTube page. Just click on the link and we'll print off this template. For the first step in this craft, you will need to go to the template. If you look on this YouTube page, you will find a link to our post. Find the template, click on that, and you'll print it off. You'll print it off on the cardstock, which I have already done. You can see it looks really great, and because it's cardstock, it'll be nice and stiff. So print that off and meet me back here. Okay, for the next step, um, we're going to be cutting this template out. We've already printed it off on cardstock. So cut out the top part of the skull and the bottom part of the skull. You could start that now. Finish cutting out the top part of the skull and the bottom part of the skull and meet me back here and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we cut out the skulls, the top part and the bottom part. So the next part in this craft is um, we are going to cut these slits out on the left and right of the bottom part of the skull. Um, so let's get started on that. A little bit of a challenge to get the scissor in there so I would say an adult would need to do this um, there we go because the scissors can be sharp and I'd hate to see a child getting cut so I would suggest a parent or an adult do the slits on the side so I got that slit done I'll do the second slit and then after that you are going to punch holes um, in the template you'll see a little dot on both sides of the skull we need to cut that open, that little dot there, so we can stick the fasteners in. So again, this is for an adult. Take the point of the scissor and stick it through that dot. And you see I did it on that side. Do it on the second side and come back here and we'll attach the fasteners. For the next step in this craft, we are going to put the paper fasteners in the holes, in the slits, in the skull. Um, that's what's going to make it movable. So take one of your fasteners and stick it in one of the holes in the top part of your skull. Find that side's slit and stick the fastener in that as well. Okay, and once you do that, you can close the fastener in the back by pressing them flat, okay, and now you have to do the other side and you would do that the same way. So go ahead and put that fastener in that hole and slit, close it up, and so far it should look like this. So for the most part we completed our craft today. Um, to move it, you simply move it up and down. Um, the fasteners hold it together. You can hang this up by the top of its head somewhere and show your friends and family how it moves up and down. It's kind of creepy looking. 
perfect for Halloween. So thank you for joining us for this craft. I hope you had a good time. Come back again.